two, one. Uh, so this is my dog, Charlie. Um, we got him five years ago. Um, he was just supposed to be like a family dog. Um, and then in the middle of my sophomore year, um, I started having problems. Um, I was diagnosed with anxiety, depression, and a bunch of other things that um, are hard to talk about. Um, and one day in the middle of my kitchen, I had a panic attack and Charlie just like, I started covering my face and actually suffocating myself with my own hands. And he came and got in my lap and moved my hands from my face. And then he just like pressed himself into me. And that's when I started um, training him to do what service dogs do when people have panic attacks. And now he just does it all the time to anybody. Um, anybody that he sees like having issues, crying, anything, he goes and gets in their face and makes them feel better and um, keeps them happy or tries to make them happy. And so that's what he does. I also, um, we are ordering a bite arm, which is a hard plastic wrapped in fabric that you can train them to bite onto. Um, to kind of like help them protect you. Um, he already does it now anyways. We'll go run around outside and then I'll do this and then he comes and bites onto my arm and then I swing him around until I scream release and then he lets go. Uh, and he just does that, he did that on his own anyways. So he really doesn't, he's really smart. Um, I have a buddy. <laughs> no um, you know, the worst part is is him having like the pit bull head and us walking down the street. People will actually cross the road to get away from him, even though he's like... <laughs> yeah, I'm real afraid of him. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he's my best friend. I had this video of him when he was like this big. Um, trying to jump onto our couch and it was like the cutest thing ever and when he finally gets up there He's all excited and shaky and it's the cutest thing ever, but I couldn't find it. So But yeah He's, <laughs> he's asking for extra credit for you <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, He goes by a bunch of different names. There's Charlie uh, we call him Wee Wee, Mister. Well, you um, call him Wee Wee? Yeah. <laughs> come here, Wee Wee. Come here. Come I wouldn't come. You called me Wee Wee either. <laughs> he usually does. Um, on my presentation, there's a video of him catching snowballs. He loves snowballs. Um, and like, he's honestly the cheapest dog I could have ever asked for because you throw a pop bottle at him and he shreds it in like seconds. You ever, put treat, you, ever, um, you ever put treats inside Snowball? Pack, no, because pack. he doesn't. He just wants to catch it, and then it's too cold for his mouth, so then he like flicks gotcha. it out of his mouth. Okay. So, yeah. Any questions? What did you do? What was the training he had to go through? Um, there wasn't really much because he pretty much just did it on his own, but it was just a lot of repetition and doing it over and over and over again and praising him every single time for doing such a good job and yeah. So do you have a certificate or is he licensed that you can? Um, not yet because getting him licensed is $400 right. and he has to go through like a nationalized test. Gotcha. And because I didn't train him like the national way, right. I trained him for what I needed him for. So he doesn't really like follow all of the steps and gotcha. everything and because he's a mixed breed they don't so really with, like that. But with the thick and mutts are the best. What is um but then you to like for you to take him in a store that didn't let animals in except for service animals, you didn't have the certificate and you put him on. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um but I can take him to college, I can take him to any apartment building or house that I want to rent because he is a certified emotional support animal. Okay. He just doesn't have like public access. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well done, dear. Well done, well done, well done. Well done.